Hello. I want you to know that what I will tell you is not narcissism. It's not arrogance. It is a fact. And it is a logical deduction. It is rational. What I'm going to tell you is rational. Um, so because of the fact that I'm Swedish, Sweden will have the holy grail in, encoded into the language. Why? Because of me. Because I'm Swedish. You know, I'm, I'm a, a native Swede. So, that's why. Now I will speak a bit in Swedish. Just so you know. Okay, just very quickly. Hej, svenska lyssnare. Eh, på grund av att jag hittade Holy Grail så har svenska språket blivit kodat. Så att eh, den berättar sanningen om filosofernas sten. Okej, okay, back to English. Uh, so yeah, this is not about arrogance. I actually don't like the feeling of this kind of attention. It uh, blurs my mind. I want a, a clean mind. Not a blurred mind. Blurred by arrogance. Blurred by narcissism. Uh, so... I'm still here telling you another another thing about the Philosopher's Stone, which is the same as the Holy Grail. So yeah, because I'm Swedish, the language is coded like this. No one really knows uh, the fact, you know, it's a riddle. It's a riddle in the language that no one really understood. But let's get into the video um, the Swedish word kalk means lime in English and as you know by now lime is the philosopher's stone and so is limestone in Swedish kalksten so kalk and kalksten is lime and limestone. Just to make it clear, uh, if you make a Google translation of the word kalk in, into English, you will get lime. You, you also see that you get cup and chalice, which which is the reason for the for the connections. In the language it's literally in the language and now I will show you how it is this is the official word for uh, for a grail in Swedish somehow no one noticed you know even though even though kalk you know kalk it is this stone it is the limestone you know it is kalk shalk Shalk in English. But the English word shalk has nothing to do with a chalice. So you can see in the Swedish Wikipedia article that talks about the grail, you will see that you can see that kalk Kalken is mentioned. Same with the Norwegian, our neighbor country, Nor Norway. Um, and in Norway, you can see Kalk mentioned everywhere also when it comes to the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail. Grail. The Holy Grail is, is, is literally Kalk chalk lime limestone it's it's freaking absurd and freaking amazing at the same time and no one 
could see it. If you go into, um, I don't know, is it called synonyms in English? I think so. So Swedish synonyms, you can see that Graal is a synonym to Kalk, Grail. Grail is literally a synonym for it. So, yeah, in the language it's itself, you could, if you're four years old, if you just learned reading, directly when you started to learn reading, you had the capability to understand what the Philosopher's Stone was. And so did I, um, right? You, you, you didn't need anything. It's, it's just everywhere. And we somehow intentionally ignore it, but uh, it's in the it's in the Swedish language, and that's where I ca come from, and that's probably why it is like this. The truth, the truth is literally in plain sight in Sweden. Yes, so you know. Uh, but yeah, no one knows. No one knows this. No one knows. No, no one seems to get it. I mean, in Sweden, right? I have. A few listeners here that actually get it, and that's amazing. Um, you understand something that <laughs> you understand something that a four-year-old cannot understand. You know, it's so weird. Why? Why can't people get this? It's like, why did it take like thousands of years? I don't get it. I think it's pretty simple once you see it. Okay, guys, see you another time. Have a good day. Bye bye.